everybody and happy Monday to you. Um, I apologize for my froggy voice. I think I just have some allergies going on. But I wanted to um, take the opportunity to use this type of audio video um, format when I have questions posed um, by students about assignments or instructions or other things that maybe having this kind of dual approach just may help clarify uh, some of the information or instructions a little bit more. So we'll try this and, and we'll kind of work together and, and see how we think um, this format works for us. But a question was posed about the assignment two, which is ethical standards in addressing cultural competence and health literacy. So two particular things um, were in regards to um, the format and the submission. So the format of the assignment is, um, again, can be either a, um, and I highlighted obviously both of those here in yellow to have an opportunity for it to stand out a little bit. Um, you know, it can be a PowerPoint, a Prezi, um, any kind of presentation format that you think would be useful in generating your um, resource tool. Uh, within that, you can embed any other types of multimedia, whether it be audio, video, pictures, tables, etc., that you think um, best help explain your points um, and convey the information. You know, this is the old adage, sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words, and that, you know, can be tr very true sometimes. And, you know, bullets and uh, nice, concise, succinct statements are great, but, you know, if you feel at any of these other options are um, useful, then feel free to please uh, use them and, and be creative with it. For those of you that will like to use a PowerPoint type tool, I've uh, created a Google Slides template in your collaborations page um, for each team to utilize to um, help facilitate that um, construction of that uh, PowerPoint. In regards to submissions, um, there are two places to submit the assignment. One is just to the assignment tab, so you can attach the PowerPoint tool um, as an attachment uh, to the assignment. And then you can, and this would be one member from each group, whoever uh, wants to do it. And then a second submission will be the post of the group's PowerPoint presentation as an attachment to the ethical standards in addressing cultural competence and health literacy discussion. So that purpose is to engage in peer learning um, and gaining information from each other and supporting each other's learning so that you can share that information and um, kind of glean additional uh, reflection and analysis from how other students in their professional uh, work are handling um, these types of situations and what their experience is. So those are answers to those two questions. So again, presentation format can be PowerPoint, Prezi, or other that you feel best conveys the information you can use a multimedia format within that. Google Slides is available in your collaborations page. Submission by a member of each team is twofold. One, um, submitting your resource tool as an attachment to the assignment tab. And two, submitting your PowerPoint as an attachment to the ethical standards in addressing cultural competence and health literacy discussion. The last uh, part or question that was posed is due to um, the combination of assignments um, in this particular module, if we could, you know, extend the deadline um, for the, or the, I shouldn't say deadline, but the time frame for submission, which originally was February 10th. And that's completely fine. 
um, we've in the past um, tried to have everything submitted by Thursday evening and the premise behind that is to allow folks who have to travel on Friday to do so without the burden um, of having to work on uh, assignments and you know while some of those who may be closer um, you know to Charlotte you know working on them um, and coming in later so we're gonna put the 11th as the assignment date however I realize that's only 24 hours more if your group agrees and for whatever reason you know needs extra time you know please reach out to me um, have a member of your group reach out to me via email or you know text or call otherwise and let me know um, and we can certainly you know discuss that together and if there are other you know if there are constraints that's fine um, you know again the reason why we use that Thursday is just to kind of you know build equity across everybody knowing there's different travel um, requirements for all but I'm fine as I've said in the past I want to make sure that this is a learning you know the prime aim is a learning experience and for you to gain the most out of the information that you're generating so you know feel free to let me know if um, you know submitting it on Friday um, for whatever reason uh, is uh, useful for your group and we can discuss that um, and go from there and of course if you have questions over the weekend um, you know after submitting these assignments that you know you want to go over for clarification or otherwise if you'd prefer to do that on campus that's you know fantastic too um, whatever works for y'all so I hope this video or audio video um, helped I'm gonna post it to the announcements page and just trial it again but if this does not answer all of your questions then please um, you know feel free to reach back out to me and you know we'll go by email or other mode to um, help further clarify any questions that you have okay all right, look forward to seeing everybody next weekend and um, hope you have a great week. Take care for now. Bye-bye.